this official that Andhra Pradesh is endowed with three capitals with the much awaited approval from the governor of Andhra Pradesh. In a big breaking, a uh, key development took place on Friday in Andhra Pradesh. Capital issue, Governor Bishwabhushan Harichandan approved the repeal of CRDA and decentralization of developments in all regions and bills. The governor who examined the bills after the state legislature approved it has given his approval with the latest decision. Vishakapatna will now be the administrative capital, Amravati the legislative capital and Kurnool the legal capital. It is learned that Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vyas Jagan Reddy has decided to set up three capitals in view of decentralization of the development. Earlier on January 20th, two bills were passed in the Andhra Pradesh Assembly. While the Legislative Council referred them to the Select Committee at this juncture, the Assembly on June 16 passed the decentralization and CRDA repeal bills for the second time while it was tabled in council which was adjourned indefinitely without any discussion. Governor Biswabhushan Harichandan on Friday gave his assent to Andhra Pradesh tree centralization and inclusive development of all regions bill and APCRDA repeal bill, paving the way for the formation of three capitals, legislative in Amravati, executive in Vishakhapatnam and judicial in Karnool. The governor's consent comes after seven months after Chief Minister Vice Jagarman Reddy Reddy's dramatic announcement in the State Assembly. It remains to be seen when the executive capital will be moved to Vishakhapatnam. Official sources said it could be in October or by the year at the latest. The Andhra Pradesh Rasa Shasana Sabha Oka Thirmanam Guda Oka Resolution Guda Jastha Onda Dekshya Rasa Prajala Dirgita Kalika Prajyojana Anand Drishlo Petko Kani Rasa Arth राजधानी विधु मूड़ प्राताल को विस्तरी चिटान के लिए निर्णय इन चिटान में नदी ये निर्णय यानी कि अनुभव लगा विशाल बटनम प्रांतम लोग कार्य निर्वाह का व्यवस्था कार्य लगाया ने नो अमरावती प्रांतम लोग शासन व्यवस्था कार्य लगाया ने नो खरनूल प्रांतम लोग न्याय व्यवस्था कार्य लगाया ने नो ये Well, the crux of the matter, some legal experts point out, is in shifting the High Court to Kurnool. The High Court was established in Amravati following a presidential notification and with the consent of the Supreme Court, overturning a presidential proclamation is not possible through an act 
enacted by the state legislature. It will have to be ratified by president. A prominent lawyer told on condition of anonymity. Nonetheless, the government is confident that the act will not face legal hurdles and official sources recall that the center has made it clear time and again that issue of the capital is state issue and the central government has no role in it. During its last hearing on the capital issue, the High Court, in reply to submissions of the petitioners challenging the three capitals, said it will take care of matter if the governor gives his assent to the bills before its verdict. The governor's uh, accent is the culmination of drama that began last December. The state government had introduced the bills in the assembly and the council in January this year. The council, dominated by the TTP, had then referred the bills to select committee. However, the legislature secretary did not form the committee. Subsequently, the state government sent the bills to the assembly for the second time in recently concluded budget session. The same were passed by the assembly and sent to the council, which did not take it up as per rules since the council did not take a call for the second time. The government sent the bills to governor for approval, deeming them to have been passed by the council. Legislative hurdle to Chief Minister Vyas Jagannath Reddy's plan for three capitals for Andhra Pradesh. Governor Biswabhushan Harichandan on Friday gave his assent to the AP decentralization and inclusive development of all regions bill. That's a 
which is uh, tabled in 2020, and the AP Sen Capital Region Development Authority Repeal Bill 2020. Although the two bills will now formally become law following the governor's accent, that uh, the government will have to clear legal hurdles before it can finally make its three capitals plan a reality. The issue is now pending before the Andhra Pradesh High Court. Decentralized and the Nijamena concept addiction. The two bills were passed only by the Legislative Assembly twice, first on January 20 and the next on June 16, and were not cleared by Legislative Council. The Council Chairman, using his discretionary orders, referred the two bills to select committees of wider examinations, but the committees itself were not constituted all the three months. The government sent the bills to governor for his assent under Article 197 first and 2 of the Constitution and uh, after wide-ranging legal cons consultations, he gave his assent to the new legislation and said uh, the official sources. The Rudy government brought in the Andhra Pradesh tree centralization and inclusive development of all regions bill 2020 to give shape to its plan of having three capitals for the state with the executive capital in Vishakhapatnam, legislative capital in Amravati, and judicial captain Kurnool.
May of the CRD Act was enacted on December 22, 2014 for the development of the state capital post bifurcation with a special and specific area demarked as the capital region. Now that YSR Congress government decided to have three capitals for the state, the CRDA Act is being repealed. The government now intends to constitute a new Amravati Metropolitan Region Development Area under the provisions of Andhra Pradesh Metropolitan Region and Urban Development Authorities Act 2016. In Jan 2020, the Andhra Pradesh government, based on the recommendation of a high power committee, that HBC, approved a proposal to create three capitals for the state. The committee had recommended that Vishakhapatnam be made the executive capital and Kurnool in the Royal Sima region the judicial capital. The committee also suggested that Amravati could house the governor's office as well as the state assembly and become the legislative capital. The physical locations of the three capitals are spread over the elongated shape of the state. Kurnool on the western side, Amravati is centrally located and Vishakhapatnam is on the eastern corner. According to the state government, the purported objective of the bill is decentralization and inclusive development of all regions in the state. The bill also provided for dividing the state into various zones and establishing zonal planning and development boards. The AP Legislative Assembly passed this bill on Jan 2020. This fresh formulation ran counter to the version of the former AP Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu. He had conceived that construction of a greenfield futuristic and world-class capital city, Amravati for Andhra Pradesh. This was to be modeled on the lines of Singapore and its master plan was to be assisted by two Singapore government appointed consultants. This city was to cover a geographical area of 217 square kilometers and was to be developed at a total approximate cost of 8 billion United States dollars. It was designated and designed to be one of the greenest cities with navigation canals and water bodies. While some distance is yet to be covered and hurdles to be crossed, the three capital formula has evoked stiff opposition. Part of the opposition appears political as this new plan will truncate the vision laid out by former Chief Minister Farmers of Amravati who had contributed land for the state capital are also up in the arms 
and a total of 33,000 acres of farmland had been given by the farmers and part of the deal was that they would reap the benefits of urbanization and global investment. That expectation was terminated in good measure by fresh announcement of the new government. Strong protests by the Deputation Party along with the adversely impacted farmers are already in evidence. Uh, well, that was today's big story. We'll come, we'll come back with another story tomorrow. Take care.